people. This video goes out to two of my favorite girlfriends. And they have this saying, to each his own. And I'm making this video for anybody who wouldn't know a Jesus if it kicked them in their nuts. So I was making this video uh, on this old parable, the patches and wine skins. And I went to looking up a word. And it was sending me to, to Matthew 2, but... You know, I had to click on Matthew 1 before I got there, and I never left here. It's been a while since I read it, and I learned a lot more about this, so I thought I'd look at it again. So it starts talking about the bloodline and all the big ats, and then it goes into this birth of Jesus here. And this is where I found this, to each his own. So after all the lineage, it gets to 18, and this, this chapter, this paragraph is called The Birth of Jesus, and it's misleading. And if you look down at the bottom of it, you know, having been awoken, then Joseph, you know, he was, he was dreaming. And from the sleep he did, as had commanded him the angel of the Lord, and received the wife of him, and not knew her until that she had brought him forth a son. And he called the name of him each his own, I-H-S-O-U-N, what to... A to A U T O, what to each his own, on whom what to each his own. And so this is misleading because the birth of Jesus didn't happen here. You can look in the next chapter when it talks about their flight to Egypt in this line 13. You know, having withdrawn them of behold, an angel of the Lord appears in a dream to Joseph, saying, Having arisen, take the child and the mother of him, and flee to Egypt. But the word here is, is girth, the girth. The girth is. You know, a girth is the measurement around the middle of something, especially a person's waist. And what it says is, you know, the, the legend, the girth this. The girth this peril, you know, P-A-R-L the peril, peril be, you know, it, she's getting bigger and bigger, and it's a peril, the girth this peril be, to pay Diane, and so, the, the pay Diane means to go to Athens, and go to the temple of Diane, at the foot of Mount Olympus, and pay Diane, and so that was Diane that you saw at the beginning of the video, and that's who she was named after, Diane. And it's this, this hospital at the foot Mount Olympus in, in Athens. And best known for its sanctuary of Zeus. And it was the place where the kings made splendid sacrifices to celebrate the new year. As in sacrificing babies. You know, it means dedicated to Zeus. But Diane is also, you know, the god of wine. It's where Dionysius come from. And so to, to pay Diane, you know, is the hangover in the morning. You see it in the next line, too. Oh, de girth is peril ben to pay Diane within. You know, the girth is the peril ben. It's been hurting. I show him getting big. And you see it again up here in Matthew 1, you know, when he had this dream. And she will bear then a son, and you will call the name of him each his own. To on whom what to each his own. And so if y'all been watching my movies, y'all are saying, hold on, you see, that, that ain't your motto. No, it ain't my motto. It, uh, that was my girl's motto, each his own. Because you know I rip on everybody. I rip on everybody doing something silly. I rip on and Jews and homos and, uh, and fatties. And, and, and I don't cut nobody no slack. And you say, well, that's not very Christ-like. But uh, you might be wrong there, too. But, you know, this says, you know, to on whom what to each is on. And it's not actually the name. But if we read this from the beginning, it's... It's the text, T-E-X, the Texit Tide. And so this E-T-A-I, it means in the future. You know, it means 
at some time in the future texts. But they, they write these words like this just to combine these words. And so, you know, the text it tied, it means it means not in the past, but in the future. The text, the, the writings, the text, it tied vion, by on. You know, via is a word meaning by. You know, how it's going to get there. It's going to get there by railroad, by ship, by air, via. And so you just say, by on. The text it tied by on to callous this to. On whom what to each his own. To, to callous this to. And so callous is showing or having an insensitive or cruel disregard for others. That's Jesus-like. That's Christ-like. You know, the text it tied by on to callous this to. On whom what to each his own. Of Abel, Gar, so see it on. And so Gar is your Mediterranean word for son. Gar is the son of a of ability, of able, of autos, what has the ability, the sun so see it on, lay on what to, away it on, away it fashion, a po meaning away, away from, a po, away it on, away it fashion, a Martian what on. Text it tied by on to callous this to on whom what to each is on. What as son so see it on. Lay on what to away ton. A Martian what on. And so this a Martian, I found this in that last chapter I was looking at. It's the word mortal. And you can see it, you know, after... You know, the, the fishermen, where they were fishing and they wasn't catching no fish. And Jesus come down to the pier and he says, Hey, fellas, won't you throw your net on the other side? You know, there wasn't enough fish in the sea. They wasn't catching no fish. He said, them, Oh, you fishing on the wrong side. You need to be catching some men. You know, the hand on. Having seen now, Simon Peter fell at the knees of Jesus. And why did he fall at the knees? Because he was forsipping for seep his sin to is gonna sin. He was gonna sin. That's what he was doing down at the knees. And so they knew this word was in here, gonna sin. So that's why they made this word immortals. Immortal as they made that sinful. No, that's not the sin. The sin was over here. He was down at the knee. He was gonna sin. And so let me hit this one more word while I'm here and enlighten y'all on what a Christo means. Just like Jesus comes up three different ways, and sometimes it's each is of, and sometimes it's each is own, and sometimes it's each is house. You know, it means mind your own damn business. To each is own, to each is house, to each is of, leave his stuff alone. That's what Jesus means. But this word, the Christ and the Christos, it has several spellings too. But you look at this one, uh, you know, the Christos. The Chris is the cross, and the toast is Abel. And so, the Latin word for that is the crucible. Crucible. You know, this is a crucible. It's a ceramic or metal container in which metals or other substance may be melted or subjected to a very high temperature. A crucible. Coming, coming from this Latin crux, the, the cross. The crossable. And so, each his own crucible. You know, and it's so crucible, it really looks more like a, a mortar, a pestle and mortar here. You know, that's what, you, what it means. Each his own crucible. It's everybody's own business. What kind of drugs, what they want, what goes in and out your mouth is everybody's own business. You hold up for what you say. You hold up for what you eat. And so, Jesus Christos, to each his own crucible. And so, all you busybody Christians... You know, I'm, I'm busting on y'all now. You're getting your dose. You know, whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it. And remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature 
of every kind that is on earth. The big old rainbow. You know that big old rainbow in the cloud that y'all hating on now. And who bear from yell Amelia are by what two maid had from in solemn to bustles from yellow bear with two zachar and nepha bear um two who break from two from yell and said less from yellow pair two where into from law to share the arch and covis where do in digit this of hope the same is of call they high hermist all share the earth you know who break from to from yell and said less from yella pair to where into connect from law to share the earth and covis where do in digit this of hope the same is of call they high hermist a hope of hope the same as they they call of high hermist all right i'm gonna cut this off here good day